Inside of Gerald J. Ford Stadium, Navy comes calling against SMU. Really good piece. In the last seven games, as he's gotten more experience, it's been phenomenal. How about a reverse and a flea flicker? Stone gets it back, looking for Maryland again. He's got it with a cut. Maryland off to the races and drug down to the 10-yard line. That'll be a game of 35. Levine back in the backfield. And the handoff, a little stutter step and straight ahead for the score. Now SMU strikes first. The folks at SMU this week with Rhett Lashley, his players really love playing for him. Ponies get it back, a deep shot on first down. Mucci Dixon corrals it in Navy territory. Maryland went in motion, Stone off his back, foot wide open for the touchdown. Mucci Dixon, a couple of big grabs on that possession. Stone. Kyle Ramos has played well the last couple of weeks. We'll show the pressure here, the pass corralled by Smith. Smith off to the races. How about that speed, explosive. Shoved out near midfield. Both sides of the ball. Levine the running back on third and three. Stone wants to throw it. Man-to-man -man coverage near the goal line. Who has it? SMU does. Jordan Hudson hauls it in. Season taken over for Ken Niamatololo. Another flea flicker. Stone wants to go long. Man-to-man -man coverage and another big play. Mucci Dixon has gone off in this first quarter. Guys over 100 today. Well, Dixon went for 99 yards exactly against North Texas on well, just three receptions. And he could go over the number here. Yes, indeed he does. Mucci Dixon into the end zone, a one-handed grab and a juggling touchdown catch from 26 yards out. A lot of transfers from Power 5 schools. Yeah, Miami, Alabama, Texas A&M. Look at a retooled defense. That punt was muffed, and Navy recovers. Midshipmen have it inside the two. Well, the recovery by Heidenreich. Jumbo backfield with Crawford. And along the right side, the touchdown for 45. Third of the season. Unbelievable. Most by any team in any quarter this season. Uh, midshipmen get a stop on third down. That went between the wickets. And let's see if it was touched by the Navy returner. And the initial indication, well, we're still waiting on that. Clearly, they're going to take a secondary look at this, and so will we. I don't know, man. I think it touches them, and it touches the towel, so... Is the towel technically a part of the body? That's a great question. After the kick bounced up and hit the receiving team player's towel by rule that is part of his body. It was subsequently recovered in the end zone for a touchdown. Hard to envision that. Third down and four for Preston Stone. He'll buy a little bit of time, retreating. Then deliver another strike. Brinson has it. Ludes one defender. Tap dances down the sideline. Romello Brinson, transfer from Miami, now a junior. They flipped him to the boundary and put Elias Larry to the field. How about that cut by Levine for the touchdown? Second score of the afternoon. Power set, Levine's got a first down, he's got a touchdown. Third of the first half for the senior from Cedar Park. Last one from 19 yards out. Locked up and ready to go. So an important game for the mids. And how about this run? Braxton Woodson along the far side, and he's got a Navy touchdown. From 69 yards out, and Navy on the board for the second time, and the first time on offense today. Second down and 15, Moses with seven stops so far. And the pass is intercepted. Picked off. Ponies have it. And trying to take it to the house. Wachovia does exactly that. His first interception today. Second that he's taken back on the season.
in eight games in a row. Our final score, 59 to 14. Rent Lashley's team improves to 10 and 2 with Tulane coming up next weekend.